Hi guys, Better Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing World of Waves 2. We are still continuing our French campaign. It's currently August 1925. Last episode, we managed to get ourselves out of the two opponent war with Germany and Italy, but it was a hard loss. Uh, we did end up losing Iceland to <laughs> to Germany and I think that was the only territory uh, but we did end up losing our light carriers all three of them so that happened we are currently building another one uh, it will be available in 16 months we are also still building our Jean Bart. And with the defeat that we took, I, uh, one of my commenters suggested that I focus more on light forces, uh, cruisers and destroyers, as well as obviously carriers. And I agree, but I also do need to keep a complement of larger capital ships, uh, mostly due to the fact that night engagements and bad weather, uh, you, you can't really do anything with a carrier, at least not without severe losses of aircraft, which doesn't really do too well. Um, so, let's see. I should go ahead and hmm let me see if I can do anything with the Charles Martel it is an older design with only eight 14 inch guns and in 1925 that's just not going to cut it maybe just maybe I can turn this into a carrier so just removing the turrets gives us a uh, 7,000 tons to work with so let's put a flight deck on also I need to give it asymmetric funnels let's just move this over here and I don't know how to eliminate this one yeah that works Ah, there we go. Perhaps I should have tried this from the top. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Also, completely remove all of these, and we will put in five inch guns. All of them will be uh, wing turrets. Uh, probably not the forward wing. That should be okay, hopefully. We will also replace the machinery, give it oil firing. That gives us a nice amount 
We'll give it 24 knots. 25 knots. And the rest of it will be aircraft. And we can fit a lot here. Can't give it a uh, dual purpose yet. Hundred and forty five inch rounds per gun. You know what? Uh, oh, oh. Wow. Um, three inch. Yeah. Wow. This is looking really nice. Nothing for, well, we don't even have secondaries, so that's cool. We can probably add some more turrets. Yeah, that works. Why not? Although, maybe I can just do 4-inch and give it dual purpose. Which does give us a... Which does give us more weight, and... We'll do 46, and also, oh, uh, plenty of room for anti-aircraft guns. No AA directors yet. I will probably end up going with, oh. Well, I don't really have that ability, do I? We are at 101 out of 101 positions used. Can I get another knot of speed? Nope. So this doesn't look bad for a flight deck conversion. Or for a carrier conversion. Oh. Oh. Ah. Well. Still 600 tons. Come on. Wait, how many do I need? Eight eight inch guns. All right, so let's get rid of the midships. And we can make these twins. This is so stupid, though. You're killing me here. Yeah, we're down to 38 aircraft. Uh, if only there was a way to decrease the belt armor. That would be fantastic. Wait, why can't I make my... Oh, because they are casemated. Well, five per side isn't bad. What did that say again? <laughs> oh yeah, AA mounts. Oof. Can I get one more plane? No, that's the wrong way. No, I can't. All right, so can we do this? Yes, yes we can. I'm going to do this, because I kind of need carriers. This will take a year at 2.4 million. Uh, 
I mean, she'll be a frontline battle carrier, so yay. And my other capital ships, I can go ahead. Nope, that I needed shift. There we go. Let's put these guys in reserve fleet. That'll save us a little bit of money. So in a year, we'll have more more stuff. Reserve fleet for those guys. The escapettes, I will go ahead and scrap. Which seems uh, kind of heavy-handed, but I... Oh, and the Carquis. Let's get rid of those guys as well. I should... build some more claymores. I can build, I don't know, three? For now. All right, let's progress the turn. Oh, that's right, I was building subs as well. I completely forgot about them. <laughs> How many more are we building? Okay, that was it. All righty, that's fine. Understanding hydrodynamic hull form and improved gyroscope, which is a torpedo technology. Which reminds me, uh, light forces and torpedo warfare. Let's put you on high. Fire control synthetic. We can put. Oh, uh, we are on medium. Let's put it on low. I mean, it's 1925, and we this is the highest tech level that we have. Uh, machinery development, we can also put on low. Armor development, I could still use if, eh, down to medium. Turrets and gun mountings, we'll keep it at medium. Shipboard, aircraft, yeah, put that on high, definitely. We'll keep our amphibious operations on medium for now. ASW seems fine. Let's put some submarine tech on medium instead of low. Torpedo technology on medium. All right. That seems good and well. We've got a thousand or a million dollars coming in. How old is the design of our newest Forbin. 1923. It's only two years old. I mean, she's not bad. I can actually build uh, at least one more of these. Oh, yeah. And the Taj. Oh, wait. No, I need to keep that. Mm, I'm going to keep these guys. And all of my heavy cruisers are in foreign stations. Let's go ahead and put the rest of our destroyers on reserve fleet. 
frees up a couple hundred more dollars. An anti-Russian rebellion has broken out in the Laotong Peninsula. I don't think we have any means to do anything about that. Uh, yes. We will do everything for all the tech. Lowers the risk of landing accidents, which is a good thing. Torpedo protection 4 as well. And we have better torpedoes. I'm working on it. Improved float plane scout. What do we have? It's faster. Longer range. And that's it. Yeah, we will do that one. Injured in buying. I could go with some money. Wait, Italy? Oh, screw you guys. No to all. We're not going to put any aircraft down because that's actually a maintenance cost. Um, yeah, we'll buy all the tech. Reduces horsepower requirements. Unexpected advances in ship design. So we also have a weight saving on hull. So any new ship will need smaller engines, and that's a good thing. Submarines keep improving. Concentration firing. So we uh, reduce the penalty for more than one ship on target. Quality one five inch guns. While I would love to rebuild my claymores and fanfare mines, that's a that's a stupid name. Um, I'm keeping my money. I'm building up my bank account, our bank account, the the country's bank account. Recent improvements in productivity has boosted our industrial production, so that gave us another three hundred thousand per month. And the. I mean, yay, we got information on a flying boat, but it doesn't really apply to any tech. Light cruiser Hella. 3,400 tons, 21 knots. Four and three inch guns. So this is very similar to our Taj. Well... It is similar to what the Taj originally was. And more weight savings. Even more weight savings. This time on turrets. Baffled by automated fuse setting. And bombers keep ending up faster than ours. What should we try and get? Let's go ahead and cancel the Bruget float plane scout because the uh, the current Mor Moran. Uh, it seems to be better in everything except for toughness and maneuverability. And even then, that's only a one-point difference for each. So we will make this obsolete. Oh, wait. I was looking at this. I don't suppose we can get dive bombers yet. No. Torpedo bombers we definitely need. Let's try and get range 
and bomb load. And even more uh, monthly balance increase for us. Um, sure, let's go for the win. Interlocked armor plates for better armor. Oh, this would be great. Three and four inch twin dual purpose mounting. Lauteng Peninsula has now declared independence. That only increased tension slightly. So, yeah, we're starting to build up a decent nest egg here. And less than a year for our claymores and carriers. Let's go ahead and build another light carrier. Let's... Hmm, how old is that design? Hmm. Let's see what kind of light carrier we can design now. Kind of light on that. 27. Let's make it a 12,000. This one, midships. There we go. That makes me feel a little better. And uh, no, we'll just go with 30. And that gives us a little bit of anti-aircraft space. That'll do. So 26 knots, 12,000 tons. I mean, she is kind of expensive, but... Oh. Let's get Torpedo Defensive 2. Three hundred and four tons. All right, twenty eight. Twenty eight planes. Twenty nine planes. Stop double clicking. Thank you. All okay. Cool. Yeah, sure. I I don't speak French, so that'll do. Okay, so we've got a new uh, design study. Scientists report that they have suffered a temporary setback in figuring out the concept of increased seed loading mechanization.
Okay. So that's going to mean that our newest light carrier will get twin mounting. Um, yeah. Yeah, Great Britain, you can totally buy the things. Rework. All right, clear all the turrets. And we will make these doubles. Port forward, starboard forward. Um, port and starboard midships and port and starboard aft. Besides being overweight is okay. Overgunned because of the weight. Okay. Still overgunned and overweight. Let's just build it. Awesome. So this will be two light carriers. Better AA, but only one more aircraft. I'm gonna, I would have to do a lot of weird things to be able to get a maximum capacity light carrier. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy, buy that. Always buy the tech. All ships can now have above water tubes. And in six months, we will be able to resume our shipboard aircraft tech. Never mind, we've got it now. Oh yeah. Oh yes, we need. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. Much better range, much better speed. We'll go with this one. It's tougher, more maneuverable, at only a, well, that's, eh, that's only 20 nautical miles, but as a torpedo bomber, we're looking at heavy range, which is only going to be about a 15 nautical mile difference. And if it comes down to that, then really I should have been a lot closer. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Japanese scientists have invented depth charges in 1926. So that happened. Um. Oh, right here. So we have 38. Two groups of nine fighters. And then two groups of 10 
Yes. Torpedo bombers. Awesome. So that was good. And the Jean Bart has less than a year to go. And then three Claymores and the Eromanches in four months. Yes, America. Currently baffled by the problems of magazine box protection. Let's go ahead and request proposal for a new medium bomber. Toughness, maybe? I don't know. I, I have no idea how bombers are not double bomb load. Yeah, sure, speed. Let's let's see what we come up with. Three destroyers. Sure, Japan. We are definitely getting some money. Ah, finally. So every single ship that had uh turreted secondaries and primaries can now uh, the rate of fire penalty is gone let's see what we can do with a battle cruiser um no no let's do heavy cruiser Well, this looks pretty. Always go with the tens. Almost fourteen five twenty nine knots. Oh, that belt. No, no, no. Let's give you a six inch belt. Okay, let me play around with this some. I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause the recording. So when I get when when we come back, uh, we'll have a nice new heavy cruiser design. Okay, so what I uh, I did want more and more and more, but it's an okay compromise. Still at 29 knots, 16,000 tons. Uh, we've got eight four inch dual purpose guns per side. They are unprotected, but they're mainly for anti aircraft. We've got a nice assortment of 10 inch guns. I could go with nines or eights, which probably. Well, we do have the quality one eight inch guns and that would save us a considerable amount. Which actually seems pretty good. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, pausing again. 
Okay, so this is a slightly cheaper uh, version. We did end up going with the 8-inch quality one guns. Uh, we will get a slightly faster rate of fire versus the 10-inch guns. Also, that extra weight that we had uh, allowed me to put shield, uh, splinter protection on our secondary guns. We have Torpedo Defensive 2. We've got a pretty decent AA assortment. We still have our three broadside uh, swivel tubes. Yeah, I said that. Uh, we do have a, a catapult with a seaplane. So I'm probably going to end up doing that for all the ships. And this looks pretty good. Uh, we did end up saving about 200,000 per month. And I swear, I think this said 26 months beforehand. So, yeah, we're going to double check the check. And we're going to go ahead and uh, design this. And the Aromanches should be finished in a month. Um, I don't think I had that happen for my other three ships of the class. Okay. Ah, uh, America, come on. We're not going to revoke the alliance, though. Uh, diplomatic note. No, I will build that. Build? Yeah, I said build, whatever. All right, let's put some air groups on the Edermanches. Let's see, we've got 28, so 14 and 14? Um, let's see, let's do 5 and 5 for the fighters. That's probably not much, but this is a light carrier. So we still have 18 that we can do. So let's add nine torpedo bombers and another nine torpedo bombers. You know what? Disband that, and these guys will move up to 10. There we go. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for us, but I'd like to keep more strike aircraft than fighters. So yay, we've got that. Jean Bart comes out in two months, and in another two months, we can build the De Petit Tour. And we are starting to rake in the money. They've got five inch dual purpose guns. I'm kind of jealous. 18 aircraft. Close to mastering improved hydrophones. That'll be pleasant. And let's go ahead and build the Depetit Tua. That's going to take 25 months. Let's go ahead and accelerate that. What happens if I accelerate? Nope. Can I accelerate that? I can gain a month. I think it's worth it. 
I mean, I really want to be able to build purpose-built, full-size fleet carriers because we need it. One more turn. Finished working up. Boom times. There's been a windfall in tax revenues. Um, social programs? Or railroads? Let's do railroads. New medium bomber prototypes. So our current medium bombers, well, uh, 500, you know what? I kinda like our current one. Although, although this one is faster and this one also has a much, much farther range. Hold on just one second. And we're back. So, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, the Mupon, uh D72. It has everything going in uh, it, as an advantage over our current medium bomber, which turns out is by the same company. So yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> and our new torpedo bomber is ready for operational service as well. Let's go ahead and obsolete the old one. Yes. And we will obsolete this one. So yeah, you know, all we're really missing is dive bombers and the ability for medium bombers to carry torpedoes. All right, so we're at 40 to almost 43 minutes now. Let's go ahead and call this episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. Feel free to leave a uh, comment feedback is always appreciated like the video if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe if you'd like to see some more once again thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode